Hey everybody, how y'all doing? <clears throat> are you a okay? In your neck of the woods? Oh, what up? What up? Man as a respect man. Hi hey, your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, there's always a special welcome waiting for you. Thank you so very much. Those of you who are there with me from the beginning of this journey and you're still here, man as a respect. And those of you who do not like my intro because it is too long and it is too this, this will forever be my intro because I've got to make sure I address the people that are new right on over here. And also, I've got to pay compliment to those of you who started this journey with me. Okay? That's how I've got to do it. Now today's video, it's not going to be a video where we're going to have a whole heap of niceness and cook up, cook up and all of those things all being laid out. It is going to be a video of a lot of importance. It is going to be a video that some people, the, con the content of the video is going to be something that some people struggle with. Some people probably want to do it and then just things say them can't bother. I'm going to show you how to do today, how to select and to cook some successful green bananas. We got two pots right on over here. So we're gonna get our flame up right here. We got, this one was boiling a little. So we have two different pots because I'm be showing you two ways. Now, the first thing you have got to make sure you select some nice, slender, real looking green bananas. Don't watch these, these are the stains because you know it drops stain. You know, that's how it goes. We didn't plant these, we bought them. I asked that to buy green bananas, but me think that should, not the, the, the stain running down, that should have, you know, me think I'm too fat. But look at me here, no? And the very first thing, when you are at, when you are angling these things, it, it carries a lot of stain. And the stain is the most terrible stain. No other stain can compare to this green banana stain. So it is always better to use something clear, preferably something white. Make sure your apron is white or your top is white. Mine is not white as you can see because it carries a lot of stain. And once the stain catches your clothes, the only thing can move it is some, some, some bleach. Okay? So I think this is a reasonable size banana. You want to look at the color of the skin. Yes, it's this banana. Now we plan to ripe anytime soon. It's all green. And these little black parts are the stains. Most of them, these are like, oh, it's rug. You know, but these are like the stain. It carries a lot of stain. So you want to make sure, okay, that you have got enough water in your pot to start cooking your banana bananas. You don't want when you're through putting in your bananas, you don't have enough water. If you don't have enough water, you must always have hot water at hand to put more. You can also have too much water in the pot. That's not a problem. You can easily remove some. But make sure if you don't have enough water in your pot, you have hot water when you're finished. And you say, but well, on. the banana, them, they up top and, and water below them and it not start cooking yet. Because whilst cooking, the water is evaporating out. You understand what I say? So make sure you have some hot water that in case. No matter when the banana cook, the water dry out and the banana, mm, don't do it like that. So our goal here is to get our green bananas. Now I showed you the selection. You could even get them a little slimmer too, but try not to get them fatter. The fatter ones, they result in like being too tough, not necessarily. Sometimes the fat one them soft too, you know. Sometimes you get, but very rare, you get some soft nature banana. But how are you gonna know? I know you're planty. So the very best, the first, so the, if my water is boiling, let me get it down. So the best thing to do is to choose them like this or a little slimmer. Okay, now our goal on this video is to get our bananas properly cooked and when they are cooked, we want to display them in this pirate dish. And of course you know that that is not, that the pirate is not the correct name, it's pirates. And I'm an old time Jamaican, then born and grow a country, pirate dish. Okay, in our pirates. So this is the goal that we are, want to achieve at the end of this video, to get our bananas properly cooked and have them in a some clear water so we can display this bowl of green cooked green bananas on the table father's day morning for your husband breakfast and when you look in a water no black like a tar them a tar road okay 
that's our goal today now you want to have used yourself some water here and you want to have to you want to start have your bananas you want to have them in this so we have one container here with water one here because we are going to take them off be careful this is the time when most you be careful when you break it it spills and then it wants it right here any part of it and it's the water it interacts with the water and splashes your clothes when it's dry it's gonna get dark okay now I've got here some cooking oil okay so you want to put your a little in your hand you could also use gloves for those people who want to use gloves so what you do you just slide in between your hands if you want to do that if you don't want to do that you can use your gloves this will enable you to for the stain not to be you know be left on your hands this will enable the, the oiling of your hands will enable the stain to just slide off your hands it will stick so now camera girl get in on this you break the banana here so it has a tip here and a tip there this is all my mother taught me some people peel it down them do all kind of something some people core it cook it in the skin the only time I saw my mom cook green bananas in the skin was when we were cooking um, feed for our pigs. We call it up food when we did the clan their country. I've never seen my mother cook banana, green bananas in the skin. And can I tell you, she was a clipper cook. Who not supposed to can see say, my mother was a clipper of a cook and she not cook black banana. So now, let's proceed. You clip, you, you put here and you do here. Now, look at this. You have here this little edge and it has an edge, it has an edge, edge. You try to put your the point. Let's turn our stove down. They're all boiling, and make sure your bananas will be going in boiling water. That's another tip. Don't put the banana in a cold water. Boiling water. So remember, I showed your edges. So you want to take your knife and the point. Give my girl your ink on this, and you want to core it following the edge. Now you want to use your thumb. And you want to pry it a bit. This is when you will know if it's a bad breed banana. Look at it. You see it's white. Some of them, when it's you core them, you will see them looking a little yellowish. Them not ready for right now, not, you know. But that's just the nature of them. So when them don't cook, them black like a Jesse don't a Elgate and also chewy. So now some of them, the skin comes off easier than this one. That's why I say that never make a good choice. These, these are nice cooking bananas, but the skin doesn't come off easily if you notice it is cracking and all of that but you have got to understand yourself so you use not the cutting part but the back and you slide it around a little my mother always said Debbie do not scrape the banana what she always says put it in the pot and when it's cooked I'll just use a fork and just slide off here mama you do pee in here I still have scrape the banana mama into water now I have one here that I peeled about an hour ago and I had it in the water to show you. This is how it looks. Okay, let me show you how you get one more. And then I'll go peel the rest of them right here, right there. You can, and then you follow any one of these squares. It doesn't matter. It's easier. Use the point of your knife and you start peeling. Try not to break it some of them the fingers are even taller but you hold it like this and you get it off as i told you some of them when you start to peel no itching depends on the nature of the banana okay you have gross michelle in jamaica we have the gross michelle when the gross michelle is like relatively young you know really not fully to perfection you can't cook it but when you see it near for fulfill for right now but with it because it, it has got crack up, crack up. This, the, the gross Michelle has this um, nature for the skin crack up. Some people, when they peel the bananas, they all break up on them. Nobody knows what's in a broke up thing, a banana, them plate. Can't no baby wear feet. So try your best. Hold the banana in the middle. Use your hand and to follow as you go along. Try to look at me here. Okay? So you don't just lift from one end and you just. Go it, glide along gracefully and you will get what you want to get. So remember this part of the knife, Mama. Debbie still a crepe the banana, Mama. In there. What I'm going to do now is peel the rest of them. I'm going to divide them into equal sets. 
put in some in here, some in there. And when I return, they will be finished peeling and I'll divide them as I said before. I might repeat it myself. I saw it go sometime. And I'll show you two different methods of cooking them to let them remain white or, you know, on the lighter color when they're fully cooked. Masoon come. Okay, I am back and I am finished peeling and I've not washed my hands. I've just slightly um, dried it. Now water is here and they're about to boil. Almost, they were boiling. So wait down here at the point. If you cut it too, like too, um, too near, when it's cooked, you can just simply take it off back. So I'm going to um, divide it in two. So that is four, five, and also over here we have this. So we can other put, put the, it's these other ones. Remember that for a long time one here? So we're going to put it in this pot. So look at me here now. Bananas are all covered and they are in the pot. Let me get my flame up and I'll let that cold um, camera girl you're shooting them up, shoot them up. Now I want to show you something. Now in this pot I am going to put, um, for one pot I am going to put some lime juice and for another pot I am going to put a little piece of salt fish. So for the pot that I am going to put the lime juice in I will have to give it some salt. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to salt this pot. And you know I'm going to want more salt more than this. And I'll add that. And also, I'm going to wait until it's boiling to put in the lime juice. Boiling up more rapidly. Now in this pot here now, I am going to put a piece of salt fish. The salt fish enables it to stay white. The banana to stay, well, white probably, um, don't let it become too dark. No. You don't want no big piece of salt fish. Listen to me now. You don't rinse the salt fish, so you, you can't put a big piece in there. You can't put a big piece in there, family. So you're going to put just this in this one. This, will, this banana is supposed to come clean and clear, as well as this one with the salt that we have. Because, you know, we have to salt the banana, but we have cooked this with the salt fish. We're not going to salt it, okay? So this banana and this banana should come out with the same color. The salt fish keeps it white, the lime juice keeps it white, and we have to salt it because we have a need for putting salt on the banana. Some people put oil, but let me tell you something. The oil doesn't prevent it from becoming dark, okay? It does not. Some people use vinegar. Yes, the, the vinegar, white vinegar make it, makes it become clear and pretty and nice, but it toughens the banana them. The banana them hard, and as soon as you take them out the pot, and the, you know the cold air comes on them, them just cut back here and chew it. So look at me here now. I am waiting on this. This is true. I'm waiting on this to come to a, a, a you know, more rigorous boil. And I'm going to put the lime juice. Must come. Okay, look at me here right now. This is the one that needed the lime juice. I'm going to squeeze. And you don't need a lot of lime juice, family. You see what I'm saying? You don't need a lot of lime juice. Because on a lemonade, we are mixed. You can easily well drop that piece of lime. Don't use more than one piece of lime in there. It will make the bananas become bitter. The green part, you know, that, not the green, the white part under the, 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 the rind of the lime, it is bitter. So look at me here now. This is the one with the salt fish over here. And this is the one with the little lime juice. So we are going to leave them to cook. And when we return, we we'll see the finished product. We we'll soon come. Okay now family, so look at me here now. This is the one with the lime juice. And this is the one with the salt fish only. So if you notice, the one with the salt fish, it has a little, you know, like a little custard. This is where come off of the salt fish. Look at it. So look at the water. This is the water for the one with the salt fish in there. And this is the water for the lime, the one with the lime juice. Now you can see that these bananas are not the softest of bananas. Because they have been cooking now for about 10 minutes. And when you use your spoon, they are still sort of, um, you know, sort of still True, we are tough then in a Jamaican, what would that say? But for other people, it's just like it's still chewy. What you want to do now, we are going to cover back the pot now. So what you want to do is to lower your flame real low. Mm? So we're putting the thing, and we are going to lower our flame right here. So you can take out your salt fish right now. You don't need the salt fish again in the kite. Don't start out the pot already. So you can take out your salt fish, and you can put it there. Okay? And look at this. This is what? It looks like it's a little bit cloudy in the pot, but when you pick up the water, it is as clear as ever. So you can take the salt fish from there now, okay? So we're gonna lower flame now and leave it there for another three to five minutes. When after 
three to five minutes. You still don't let the banana cook until it comes soft, soft, soft enough. You're gonna turn your flame off and leave it there for probably another three minutes in that water. At that time, I'll return and I'll be transferring them from the pot to the Pyrex. So this is the dish that you'll be serving it. Or, you know, you'll be setting the table with. And we're gonna see the difference, final difference. Must we come back? Okay, now we are back. They have been cooked to a certain, probably about 90%, right? And they have been there in the, as I told you, leave them to rest in the water. You don't want them to get too soft for serving. If you let them be too soft, when you start to remove them from the pot to the serving plate or the serving bowl, them are going to broke up. They are going to be broken into pieces. So you're still going to have to, you're going to hold it in the middle. They are cooked now, you know, ready to eat. So we're removing, remember, this is the lime juice part. And all of that. So we're gonna be removing three. Okay. And this is the pot that we use the swordfish for. Look at me here. I guess the camera is fogging off. And we are sorry for that. Okay. So you notice they are coming out. They are cooked, you know. But look at me here. If you leave them too long in the in without um thing, they're gonna probably get like a little hardish. So you wanna have hot water, so the, the same banana water in it, but I'm going to put no more water on it for the banana and I'm going to come fresh and I have none about them now, you know. So look at me here. So this is how you will be putting it on the table. Yes, you're making your Father's Day breakfast table. You're going to give him boiled banana and, and liver. That's what you're going to give him. Who, are, who is going to do that for Father's Day? Tell me in the comment section. So look at me here. Quite presentable looking good still in the hot water that has cooked the banana and it is there i you see the steam and it is there in the water hi yes yes when him come and see them banana yeah clean and pretty in the hot water by the time if you're ready to come eat banana water still at him get them out of the water they're not broken i swear to god you're gonna get a time and if you're not getting none before you see so this is the trick that you've got to use it's a little it's not a work, it's not a work. You just gotta practice a little. Try to select the right bananas. And somebody can say, Life cook. Okay, you can cook banana every time you cook the banana, you get the banana cooked good. And look here, you would all get up, get some black bananas. So you might just comment and say something. Banana is not hard for cook. Some people have a lot of problems. Oftentimes, when you used to date small and their country, people pass. You know, you live the country, people are friendly back then, not now, back then. That's all right. You know, no banana left there, give me one finger and the clay pot water. No, sir. I want the piece of yam left. Lie. Lie. Banana did but the banana too black. Can't give my stamp none because it never prepare good. Okay? So, which method would you choose? Tell me in the comment section. Or if you are a clip up on banana cooking, tell me. Now, you are going to say, Debbie, so when I do the selfish, I forgot, no. After when I reach like that, I forgot to show a selfish. You just clean off the back of this saltfish and you put it in a little bag in a little zipper and put it in your freezer. When you're ready to make fritters, you pick up your saltfish, them and make fritters. These two can pick up and cook up your saltfish. You don't have to throw your saltfish out. Okay? So this finished product again, green bananas, all in water. And okay, if it was a different set of banana, it still could be a little clearer. It depends on the nature of the banana. I was talking to somebody probably about a month ago or probably six weeks. And the person said when they were work, they used to work at a restaurant and their job was to peel the banana for breakfast. Bunch of, more than one bunch of banana, you know, some 10, 12 and bunch of banana. She, that was her job to peel the banana. And Yakia broke them up because the supervisor comes and said, oh, you broke up the banana them, sir. How comes? But sometimes the supervisor understands that they see like a bad breed banana. Not all the time. Not all the time, but most of the time. So when you go and see the fat, fat banana them, leave them alone. 
use the slimmer ones and try when you're using the slimmer ones don't use them too slim because when they are too slim them young them have no food in them then they have to just put in a like fish tea or in a manish water because you i don't want you going out and choose slim slim ones that has no food they too will break from this when you're peeling them from the skin if you have liked this video remember remember to give it a thumbs up Make sure you're subscribed to the Jamaican Cooking Journey. It is only on the Jamaican Cooking Journey you get this information. Make sure you're subscribed. Our PayPal button is here there in case you want to make a donation and this video helped you to cook your green banana and all of that and make sure say it no gone in your husband plate broke up, broke up and black and look, you know, insipid looking. Okay, make sure you're subscribed. Remember to hit the notification bell when you subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your support. And some people are like peel banana. Look at my hands. I did not use anything. Mark you, there are some of them no matter how you highly and do you. When you're done, you're on black. But that's the nature of the banana. As I told you before, so many times on this video, it has to do with the nature of the banana most of the times. I hope you have gained some information from this video thank you so much once more for your love and support and if you want to get on to me you know it's for now instagram and by my email debbie from dunga yard bless no stress